Hello, and welcome back to Soliprint with me, Benjamin Kieser. Today, we're introducing to you the all new Meku Multiplier Pressure Former. Now, we've all heard of vacuum forming, but this isn't it. The Meku Multiplier uses compressed air to pressure form parts around a mold. And this process actually allows for a more precise and detailed part, achieving results to micron level accuracy. Let's unbox it and see it in action. The first step is to create our molds, and we'll be releasing more information about that in the future. But for today, we've actually 3D printed our molds using the Formlabs Form 3L high temperature resin and Tough 2000 resin, and also the Formlabs Fuse 1 Plus Nylon 12 powder. The next step of the multiply process is to position your material onto the guides. Now, here's a list of the available materials through Meku, but of course, custom made materials can also be used as well. Today, though, we'll be printing with the optically clear PMMA material, as well as the flexible EVA. Simply place the material into position using the guides, lower down the lid, and clamp it up. Once we raise the lid again, this will start the heating and pressurizing process, and this process can take a couple of minutes depending on material and thickness as well. An intelligent pressurized system inside it also reduces the risk of sagging and warping of the material as it's being heated up as well. Then we place our molds onto the platform. There is a guide for best layout of your parts and multiple molds can be used at the same time. For our PMMA part, we're using the high temperature and tough 2000 resins to produce some car lenses. And for the EVA, we'll be showing how flexible materials can be formed around undercuts using our car model from the Fuse One Plus post-processing board. Now, due to the nature of the SLS process, the powdery texture is actually picked up on the formed material. Using a post-processing technique, such as tumble blasting, will remove this texture and give a smoother looking mold. We've also captured the micron level detail here by writing on a post-it note and putting a human hair next to it to show you just how detailed this pressure former can go. Once the material is heated up, lower the lid, lock off the latch and release the pressure. After it's cooled, we can unlatch both locks and open the machine. Most of the time, the molds will just fall or pop out from the material. However, if they do need a bit of wiggling, you can use the compressor mode on the machine to blow air into the mold and help separate your parts. Now, the last step is to remove the scrap material from the outside. For thin or flexible materials, hand cutting with a knife will suffice. However, if you've got a thicker material, a more robust method is required. Some people use a Dremel, others a bandsaw. But who needs those when we've got a waser. Now, to get the most accurate cut, position a scrap piece of material in the waser to cut out the profile in the fixing in its desired location. And then we position our formed part underneath and just press go. So there we have it, factory quality parts straight from our desktop. Now I must say, I'm actually incredibly impressed with this machine and the levels of accuracy that it can go down to. And I'm incredibly excited to see what we can do next with it. So please do get in touch with suggestions and form molding ideas. I'll be more than happy to take those and actually use them on this machine. So if you do want to get in touch, there's the links below, or of course you can email info at solidprint3d.co.uk. And you can also phone us on 01926 333 777. We're always at the end of the phone or an email thread to answer any questions you've got. So please do ask away and we'll be more than happy to answer. And of course, as always folks, don't just have a good day, have a solid day.